So we just saw a new Modern Warfare 2 campaign gameplay alongside the announcement of the campaign early access, which I think is on October 20th. I don't know, it says something like a week before launch or something. Wait, that didn't kill that guy? Fuck. Uh, now the gameplay looked sick. I think it was, uh, there were cutscenes, but they were like in-game cutscenes. And I'm pretty sure it's like, it's at the same type of cutscene that like, I'm pretty sure they showed at like the Game Wars trailer, you know, where it like switched from like cutscene to like the actual gameplay. That's probably what kind of like cutscenes they were. So that's really good. It looks insane. Probably one of the best looking games released yet this year. And of course there's the obvious, I mean, you know, you see, uh, I, f I forgot his name, but like, he, he's just, like running across the screen. You see him holding a sniper rifle. It's not just like, oh my God, the stupid ice cream truck. It wasn't just any sniper rifle that guy was holding. He was holding an MSR or an Avenger. I don't know. It's, it's like a mystery to most people. But I'm like 99% sure that's an MSR. Which I mean, most people are like begging for an intervention, obviously, because Modern Warfare 2. But like, if you think about it, I feel like the MSR makes more sense for like a modern Call of Duty. It would definitely be easier to implement considering how more, how more, I don't know what the word is, but it's like the intervention is more wonky. It's more, it's more wacky, you know? It's more wacko. It's not nearly as like a normal and like typical as the MSR. I don't think that's an insult to the MSR. Both guns are really good. But the MSR for modern Call of Duty just makes more sense. So I, I kind of get it. I really hope that's the MSR. Oh, I can't move. It's doing the thing again, bro. There we go. Why did I even bother going for him? He's on the heady. I don't remember much else from the trailer. As far as I remember, at least we didn't get like any like gun holding action gameplay. It's mostly just like the in-game cutscenes, which is fine. We get to know more about like the locations and stuff. There's obviously like the basic like war like abandoned building and a desert oh, we also got like a super sick like city location which kind of reminds me of like the ending part of battlefield 3 i always like like the night city aesthetic in these types of games so i think so far from what i've seen in the in like the trailer they kind of nailed it the early access also helps so that like people don't instantly go on mp to like try to get as much xp as they can before everyone else does you know you don't have to do that now because you can just play like a bit of the campaign early see if you like it you don't find multiplayer time you know but if you if you do like it i mean hey you should probably finish it when like the game comes out okay i don't even remember do you got all the missions I think you do. If so, then forget what I just said. Never mind. Also, as a personal request, I never really mentioned this in any of the other videos, but please make the camos easier, man. They're refined like Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3. Why can't we get the camos that way? Why do you have, why do, why do you have to make it so weird so low? Can I please regen? Doesn't matter. Do I not have a support class? I have one on 360. Alright, cool. Got the default one. I picked the wrong class. Where is my small? Did they take it away from me? Can I not use the rocket launcher? You, little bitch. Nobody likes you. I'm so good at this game. Scumpy should fear me. Just say it. You should be happy I'm not on the CDL yet. Man, I hope that's actually the MSR. And if it is the MSR, please make it like faithful to the original. And make it feel like the MSR. Don't make it shit like the Modern Warfare snipers. Those are trash. They're not fun. Do I? Okay, let me check the campaign trailer again, but I think that's it. Oh yeah, they showed the roadmap. Like the launch roadmap. Wait, let me let me talk about that real quick. Road to launch. Call of Duty next is on September 15th. From September 16th to 20th. Uh, you got the PlayStation exclusive weekend one of beta. I really hope I can get like a PS4 or PS5 by then. Hopefully PS5, but who knows. Beta Weekend 2, which is crossplay. Campaign early access on October 20th. One week based on estimated access, actual playtime subject to possible outages and applicable times on differences, whatever that means. That's like the only one that has an asterisk. And then the launch, which is eight, which is eight days later, October 28th. Okay, so you do get the entire campaign. Yeah, that's it. Monitor for two, can't wait.